All right, two minute Monday, round two. Let's talk about the microbiome. The term microbiome technically refers to the collective genetic material of microorganisms in a given ecosystem. So if you haven't heard already, microbes basically cover everyone and everything on earth. There is the microbiome of your gut, microbiome of your skin, your lungs, your mouth, your eyelash, and then there's also the soil microbiome, the microbiome of a tree, and even the microbiome of your desk, your laptop, or your phone. Everything is covered in microorganisms, including bacteria, fungi, protozoa, amoeba, nematodes, archaea, and viruses. So all of these microorganisms are serving a myriad of different functions. There's literally billions and billions of them. They make up the greatest amount of diversity of living things on earth, but we are most familiar with them as bad guys. We think of the germ theory. We think of microbes as germs that need to be sanitized and cleaned away. Well, all the recent science within the last decade is telling us that we are actually wrong about that all along and most microorganisms are beneficial and in fact vital to our existence. So without the microorganisms in our gut, our gut microbiome, we wouldn't be able to digest food. Without um, the microbiome of our immune system, we would not be able to fight off illnesses or other microbes. Basically, they act as our own personal defense army against the, the bad bacteria or the bad microorganisms coming in. We have the beneficial ones to protect us, which is a great reason why you should avoid avoid antibiotics, chlorinated water, toxins in your food as much as possible because you want to keep a robust microbiome so you can stay healthy. Another reason the microbiome is so vital is because of the microorganisms in the soil that basically make all life on earth possible because they allow for plants to grow and for and they convert nutrients from rocks and minerals into plant available nutrients that allow all the plants on planet Earth to grow, which in turn make it possible for us to eat food, for us to breathe air, and um, all the other wonderful things that plants do that I can't even think of right now. So the, micro the microbiome is super vital. Obviously, we need to learn a lot more about how these organisms are interacting in our environment, on our bodies, and all around us. The, to boost your microbiome isn't just about taking probiotics or eating fermented food. It's also just about being outside, being in natural ecosystems, reducing your toxin load, and getting your damn hands dirty, getting in the soil as much as possible. All right. Thanks for coming. See you next time on Two Minute Monday.